Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you the 10 hidden features on the Huawei GX8. Now, one thing I have to hand into Huawei is they have a lot of hidden features on their phone and a lot of features that just aren't on other phones. So these will be the 10 hidden features that you can find on your Huawei GX8. Let's get started. Now the first hidden feature is a simple one, but definitely a useful one, and that is one-handed operation. Now to set this up, you're going to go into settings, and then go to smart assistance, one-handed UI, go to one-handed layout, and turn it on. What this allows you to do is just simply swipe the bottom. If you swipe this way, the one-handed will be on the left side. If you swipe this way, the one-handed will be on the right side. So it's just that simple and easy just to be able to swipe, and then you have it. If you have Google uh, on tap, it sometimes gets that confused. And then all you have to do to go off of this is just swipe again or tap any blank space. And it's just that easy. So this allows you to use one-handed operation very simple and easily from any screen. And I just love how convenient it is and how easy it is to use one-handed operation on the GX8. Now, another really useful feature that, again, not other smartphones tend to have is that when you're on the lock screen, you can swipe up and you have a list of quick settings you can actually use. You can use this for your uh, music or anything you're playing. You can use this for a calculator. You can use it for voicemail, flashlight, or a camera. Quick, simple, and easy just to tap. And then you have your flashlight on. You can do that to pop up your calculator. Again, simple, quick, and easy access do you have just from your lock screen. So I really wish uh, more manufacturers would do that in terms of concealing it so it looks nice and sleek but then when you need it, you have quick access to all of the favorite features that you need. Now for hidden features, we always have to have a few different ones uh, from the camera, and this one's no exception. One of the biggest ones is definitely going to be good food where it makes your food pop and it looks really good. So I love features like that because I do take pictures of my food, but one thing I have to hand it to Huawei for being creative and different is on your selfie photos you can actually do something really interesting and that is go to makeup this is really interesting because you can literally put makeup on yourself if you don't have it in lots of different cute styles so you can look at club you can have pink sweet party and uh chanted all this different stuff and uh you put it on and it automatically puts it on i'm not one for makeup it's not for me but definitely a cool and unique feature that Huawei allows for on here. So definitely something uh, really nice. Also important to note is if you go to settings, you can also do what's called the perfect selfie. The perfect selfie allows you to uh, set different forms and you can do smooth, you can do whiten, you can do bigger eyes, you can do brighter eyes, and it changes uh, everything as it goes you can even do thinner uh, very simple and easy so you can do a lot of different stuff and set up the perfect selfie so that's what it'll do every time when you get to beauty mode so those are the hidden features for selfie taking which is a really big one for makeup now our next hidden feature comes from text messaging so under the messaging app you have a unique feature that you don't tend to have on a lot of smartphones as Huawei and that is if you go under menu and settings you actually have the ability to create a signature now most people know signatures from email accounts but with Huawei it actually allows you to do it in every single text message so this is really cool if you just want to attach any kind of photo or any kind of uh, word that you always have it's simple quick and easy to be able to do if you always want to do an emoji after everyone you have that ability to do it and so that everyone always sees exactly how you're feeling. Now, under the gallery, there is a unique setting that, again, you don't see in a lot of smartphones, and that is swipe up to transfer. So you set this by going into menu, 
settings and then turn slide up to, to transfer enable and then what this does is is when you're looking at a photo say like this one of course I want to share this with the world I just swipe it up and now it's already looking for devices to transfer it to so this is a really simple and easy process but it allows you to transfer over photos or videos quickly via Bluetooth to other devices that are around you so if your friend wants it they can just swipe up and then transfer the photo. Simple, quick, and easy. Now this next feature comes from motion control and it's double tapping your screen when it's off to turn it on. So we're going to go to motion control which is under smart assistance and when we go to motion control you have this right here double touch and you want to turn it on. The reason you want to turn this on is because I particularly find a phone annoying without a home button to reach all the way over there to the power button just to turn the screen on. So this is a lot easier because it just allows you to double tap the screen and then it turns it on. So it's simple, quick, and easy and one that I definitely have to have on this phone. I was actually annoyed when I first couldn't figure it out. So I did my looking and I found it. So this is definitely a feature that you should turn on and enable so you can quickly get to your home screen without needing to reach for the power button. Our next feature actually comes from motion control as well and that is drawing on your screen to launch an app. Now you can go to again motion control under smart assistant in settings. Tap that and you go to draw. And what this allows you to do is actually draw letters in order to actually launch certain apps. So as you can see right here, you can actually choose which one you want and then that will launch when you do it. So if I turn the screen off and I draw an M, it will launch the music. If I draw a C, it will launch the camera simple quick and easy to do and it's definitely a good thing to have just quick access to I for one really like it I do wish you can draw your own letters which it doesn't seem that you can uh, just because you know if you're doing uh, launching Google you'd want that to be a G my guess is it's so that it can recognize just these letters and not recognize every letter in the alphabet but if you have that you can do it you have W, M, E, and C to launch whatever apps you want. The next hidden feature is Gloves Mode. Gloves Mode is so you can use the Huawei GX8 without needing to take your gloves off. So you can use it with regular gloves, you don't need touchscreen gloves, and you can still use your phone. How do you do this? You go to Smart Assistant in Settings and you go under More. From here, you simply turn gloves mode on, and now you can use regular gloves and still be able to use your phone, simple and easy. The next button is taken from some different uh, OS, and it's still useful in here. So if you go to more under Smart Assistant, you can actually get to Suspended button. What Suspended button does, it essentially brings this navigation bar anywhere on your screen. So you can just tap this and you can move this around wherever you want, tap it and then you can quickly do multi-screen, you can quickly go home, quickly go back. So it's quick, simple and easy just to get to everywhere you might need to. The one thing you can also do however that's unique is you can actually clear all of your RAM right away from here. So that is a very fun and useful feature. I just wish that if you had this, you can get rid of the bottom bar so that we have more screen real estate. That would be the main tweak that I would recommend while I would do for the suspended button feature. Now a, another hidden feature that can be in plain sight but what you might not know on what or how to do it is protected apps. So protected apps are simple and easily a great way to save your battery life. So if an app is protected, it is allowed to run in the background and never turn off. So this is going to drain your battery life if you have a protected app. Now the reason you might want to do it is so you can use it in the background, say an app like Spotify maybe. That is an app you might want to run in the background, but other ones you don't. So you just tap it off, 
so it's not protected and that way it's not draining your battery in the background now if you want you can simply do this all to add all or remove all and that's a quick way of doing it if you have a lot of apps just move them all to not protected so that that they won't run in the background and drain your battery and finally our last hidden feature is a simple quick and easy one and that is change the color temperature of your phone so right now there's a big deal about uh, changing the color temperature of a phone so that you don't have those harsh blue tones at night and you can do it simply and easily just by going to display and go to color temperature now it's on by default right in the middle but if you want to get rid of those blue tones you can just go like this and then your eyes won't be bothered at night now if you go like this it will have it so it's colder so those blue tones are more uh, vivid and it might be saying you want not want to do it at night by default it will just be right there in the middle but if you want a bit warmer tones and keep that on you will actually be able to not be bothered at night by the phone so you can just keep that on by default or you can just put it in regular default and that will allow it to be neutral all right thank you guys for watching if you did like this video please give a like thumbs up down below this has been r-i-c-k-y the android guy